Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Natalie. Go ahead and subscribe and hit that noti button. All right, for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing some skincare products. Um, I have gotten into skincare a lot um, since... I'm gonna say like maybe two, three years. Um, and I've been using like a lot of different things that I know will feel good on my skin just because I know everybody's skin is different. So I'm going to be reviewing just some that I personally use and that I personally like and hopefully that'll help you out too. Okay guys, this is my little collection. I have the 1212 Gateway, the holiday gift pack. So it's not the full sized um bottles and then I have my Ole Henriksen products here um so this is also like a mini version of all of them and then I recently just got this one um for my birthday gift at Sephora um it's the Laneige and I also just purchased this because I want to try it out with you guys and see if it works it is sick of and yeah all right guys let's get started um before i review the skincare products i do want to try the sick appear just because um i saw in a in a video that it takes a couple of minutes for it to um how did they say it for it to like match your skin tone so we're gonna try this one first and we're gonna see how it works so so the directions say apply a moderate amount after a moisturizer, which I already did. I used the 1212 Gateway today. The formula will change from green to beige to help conceal the look of redness to even out skin tone. As I was saying, I could have just read the directions. So let's get this on. Pull my hair off. All right, so let's get this on. You know what, before that, I'm gonna wash my hands. You should always have your hands clean before touching your face. So I'll be right back. All right guys, I just washed my hands, so let's get this on. I'm so excited, but I'm like low-key scared. Oh shit. Something that I always do when I buy anything from Sephora, um, I always keep the receipt just because they let you return it if it doesn't work out for your skin and like I said everybody's skin is so different so like a product could even be for a dry skin and it still doesn't complement you the way that you want it to so yeah I definitely have the receipt for this because I am not about to waste $50 if something don't work so let's get this on it's yeah I don't want to be putting too much so I wonder if it's just like um lotion. You know? Like am I supposed to even use a freaking beauty blender or something? You know what? Like I've seen and I've watched a lot of um videos on how to apply your makeup and the best way supposedly is to use your hands because the warmth of your hand is um like i can't find the words to like describe things today but um you guys know what i'm trying to say so but um i really hope this works because i have really dark circles i don't know if i've told you guys that before probably in my first video when i was doing my makeup um, or honestly, maybe I should just do the half of my skin, the half of my skin, the half of my face to see if it like, there's like a really big, uh, even though I already did my forehead, but honestly, like, I already see like a difference. I don't know if you guys see if this is the best angle or if you get the best lighting on me so i already put it on this side and 
like, I don't know, like in the camera, like it looks different than in person. Like I do see, cause my cheeks are a little red all the time. Maybe I need to lower the brightness on my, and maybe that helps a little bit and you guys can see the contrast. So for this side, I have not put it on and then for this side I have. So just let me wait maybe like two minutes and let's see if it changes a little bit more. Um, because I don't have any, or so I think, right, that I don't have any, like it's all blended. Yeah. It didn't, it does, it didn't cover me completely on the eyes, but I don't. It's a color correcting treatment, so it's not really like the color corrector makeup, you know, where it's like it stays green or like it's red and then, you know, then you just put on your foundation, blah, 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 blah. But maybe, you know, maybe that's what I'm supposed to do, like over this, use my concealer, blah, 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 blah. So let's just wait like two minutes from now and then um, I'll see if it changes. You guys, I just watched a video on how to put it on and the first girl that I watched like a couple of weeks ago, she used her hands, right? Obviously, but she like did what I did. Okay, like just, I didn't pat it all the way, but I did, I guess, rub it in a way. And this other girl, she's actually warming up the product with her fingers and then placing it and tapping it on her face you can definitely see some cover-up from this to this right but like i said i do really have dark dark eye circles so maybe this product isn't enough for my eyes however for my whole face i do see some cover-up and i do feel like some like i don't know like it's not burning but it does feel a little weird on my skin right now, so that has me a little worried. But um, I'm gonna wash my face and put my moisturizer and then I'm gonna do it the way she did it to see maybe if there's a big difference. Hey guys, I'm back from washing my face again. Um, and I was actually thinking about it. It is made with tea grass. So maybe that's why I felt like a little a little weird on my face but um yeah let's give this another try because I do want to give you guys the best result and not just use one thing and it not being the right way and then you know it actually ends up working so I mean it did work in some way but um yeah so the girl just did like a little bit which I did in the beginning anyways but but uh, then she rubs them and with her fingers, she, she was warming up the product for a little bit and then it's kind of like, and she just starts patting. I feel like that was not enough, but a little goes a long way is what they say, right? So obviously the product is a little lighter than, not a little, way lighter than my skin. But like I said in the beginning of the video or before I started using this product, that it kind of like matches your skin tone. <clears throat> like when you use foundation, the more you blend, not blend, the yes, the more you Why can't I speak today? Jeez. Whatever. The more you pat your beauty blender into your skin, the more it'll be absorbed into your skin, right? So, the better it will look. So, I'm guessing it's the same thing with this. I feel so... Oh, my God. No way. Oh, I don't know. Like... It definitely is covering me up, like, yes, but I do not like the fact that I look so white. Like, I look like a ghost. 
And I'm 100% sure this will definitely like look way better if I use it before doing my, my makeup. Obviously it's a cover up, but um, I thought it was something, well it, it is. Okay, obviously with your skin tone and if you use this and this is like your skin tone, then it'll definitely be a cover up and you could just use it as a natural base for yourself when you're going out. It does have SPF 30, so that's a plus. Always use your sunscreen every day. I've, I've known that since I was little. My stepmom would always tell me, use sunscreen. The sun is so bad for you. But okay guys, um, I'm gonna just keep patting a little more. And we'll see how it goes. Guys, I think that I am done and I'm a little shook right now. Like it I think maybe this method worked way better than what I was doing before. Um, but it's not that big of a difference of my skin color. So I think it definitely blended in and gave me some cover up. And I, let me lower the brightness. I will definitely be using this just as... If I'm going out and I don't want to look like poop <laughs> or something, but it, I feel like it definitely covered me up and it would look so much better if I had my makeup on and just, I would look brand new. So yeah, it is, I think it's a good product. I'm going to keep using it for a whole week and I'll be letting you guys know maybe in my next couple videos how it is working out for me if my skin has been reacting to it okay uh, something I do want to say about my skin is I do have dry skin on my t-zones from saying that now I want to move on to actually reviewing the skincare products that I use okay so I'm gonna first start off with the 1212 gateway let me get to the juice all right so I actually don't really know how I feel about this product because I have never really had bad skin, as I said in my first video. I have never had like a crazy breakout or like the only thing that I truly have in my skin are like little bumps on my T-zones or maybe like on the sides. And just like it's never been very major. I've only gotten a couple pimples uh, here and there and... So whatever. But when I started using this product, I bought it when it first launched in December 12th. And I'm going to be honest. I literally felt like my face got clean. Like, I don't know, like it felt more fresh. And But I didn't see a difference in me getting my little bumps and anything like that. So I don't know if it's because it's all natural products or what not but I really didn't see a difference in in my skin but I did feel like it looked cleaner or like much brighter so I I was using it for like a whole month probably and then I stopped using it because I'm like okay now I want to see if it's really making a difference in my skin if I use something else so enough of that well you know what let me get into detail the cleanser um obviously is what made me feel like my skin was way cleaner and I do like the consistency of it however I don't like the product bottle literally within like a week this little pump thingy it wasn't squirting out the actual amount of the product so you know when you have to keep on going like this and like that gets annoying like come on the aesthetic of the bottle yes it's pretty and all but like nobody wants to be going through mm, 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 mm. and whatever so the eye cream and the moisturizer consistency is something that i personally didn't like because it wasn't i don't know how to explain it but it's not very 
dewy or not very like like I don't feel like it's being absorbed onto my skin because it's like a paste so I don't know if you guys can see here let me make sure you guys can see over here I've obviously been using a lot but um the consistency of both of them is like very pasty um so it dries very quickly when I had put it on my skin and that's something that I also didn't like because I wanted it to feel like it's taking its time you know treating my face and now for the lip balm I think this is probably like one of my favorite products of this brand because it does feel like it's moisturizing my lips and um yeah it's just it's like a very big lip balm and everything but one thing I didn't really like is the the not the formula but the way it feels like it feels like it has like little little bumps or something so like if it's being exfoliated now let's move on to one of my favorite products as I said before uh, this is the Olay Henriksen Truth is the um it's not I don't know if it's the brand or if it's so they have like truth and they have they have like these other ones they have like the blue set and i think they have a green set so i've been using this probably for like two years now and i barely started getting into the cleanser but these three bad boys right here have been my life and now let me tell you why so the truth serum I put on obviously before everything and the consistency of this is like what I wanted or what I was expecting kind of with like um the 1212 gateway and it was like it's smooth and it, it like goes into your skin and then it dries into your skin to like you know like you make it tight or whatever but yeah I love this one and then the eye cream I feel like this works like I know it works because every time I use it, like, I just feel, like, the inflammation of my eyes and just, just makes me feel so good. And this whole, this whole set is supposed to be so your, like, skin could brighten and I definitely feel that. Every time I put this on in the morning, like, I feel like I'm glowing. I'm like, yes, bitch. So, yeah. And then obviously I finish off with my moisturizer and I love this. And this is what I'm saying, like the consistency, the consistency of it is like very dewy. And then I feel like it actually goes into my skin and it's like literally brightening me up. Um, if this is something that you guys want to see, like me trying them on and seeing how it looks, I can obviously do that for you guys. Just comment down below if that's something you'd like. Okay, obviously the cleanser, I started using it. Oh my god. It was like that thing you just needed. You know, like the final touch. So I've obviously had these three, but I was using my Cetaphil cleanser. And the Cetaphil cleanser I've been using for... I don't even know how long. Maybe for like 10 years. Because I've been doing like... I've always been into like skincare, but I really got into it with, like three years ago. But I would always wash my face all the time with Cetaphil and like take care of myself. And yeah, that's that's my baby. That's the one I just use just in general. It's never giving me bad like skin, it just cleans me. So I've been using that one with the Ole Henriksen products. And then I got with this one and the consistency like you literally just need like so fucking little of this and just foam it up on your on your hands and place it on your face and i feel like it cleans my face so well so enough of those guys now let me get into the lineage i don't really have much to say about these guys because i literally started using these like two days ago but, um, let's see. So, these are sleeping masks. Two of these are sleeping masks. And I think I am more in love with 
the lip sleeping mask because I feel like my lips were like plumped and they look so juicy with this on. But obviously, I'm going to sleep. So what the hell is that for? But regardless of that, when I wake up in the morning, you have to like rinse it off. And I, my, my lips are the same, okay? Like, well, what's going to change? And the, the sleeping mask for my face is, is, is a water mask. So I do feel like my face a little tighter when I wake up in the morning with this and obviously I have to rinse it off after and then continue with the moisturizer and the moisturizer is very dewy and it does dry up after like a while but I don't really feel like it's moisturizing my skin so I don't know how I feel about that so this is the end of the video I hope you guys liked it I hope you um I hope it helped you know seeing all these products that I personally use and see if it's something that you want to try out remember I do have dry skin everybody's skin type is different so please don't like like I said I keep the receipts if you go ahead and buy something like this um, always buy the small products because if it doesn't work out for you you don't spend that much money anyways you buy the little ones you try it out and if it ends up being something that you are in love with then you go ahead and buy the big size but i always buy the minimal sizes because i'm always trying different things on my skin and yeah so, so i hope you guys liked it please um go ahead and like this video go ahead and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video bye